welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very fun one, especially for me as a type one and a type A personality. So basically what this video is, it's going to be kind of like a prep with me for the next semester. So today is Monday, January 18th. It's actually Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so that's awesome. I don't start my second semester of college until February 1st. Actually, currently at home, as you guys can tell, I attend the University of Kansas. I'll be going back to campus on the 29th of January. So, of course, I'll probably do another like pack with me video um, just because we had to completely move out because I haven't been there since November 23rd, I think. So it has definitely been a while since I've been on campus and everything and um, yeah, I basically had two months off of doing nothing. I've literally just been reading and online shopping. So yeah, I've seen a couple videos like this prepping for the next semester or prepping for the new year and I thought I would kind of do my own twist on it. Before we get started, I actually forgot to do my my habit tracker. This is actually my 2021 goals. So I'm just going to fill this out. I've had this in a couple of my videos. I think this is Abby Asselin's, um, like 2021 new year's resolution thing. So I have three of my resolutions there. And then on all the pages, it's kind of like this. And so the top one, top one, I mark every day that I complete a book. And so I finished seven books already in January and this is every day I read the Bible and then this one is every day I work out so I'm just going to mark these real fast I've already done my morning routine as you guys can tell currently 11 29 so basically 11 30 I woke up at 7 59 but I've been having this issue of just laying in bed for like hours at a time so I woke up like I said 7 59 basically 8 a.m. I didn't get out of bed until 9 30. It's so bad for me especially because school is starting in like two weeks basically. I need to start practicing so I guess that's like tip one is practice when you're gonna wake up. I don't know if this is something that my mom my family only did like my mom made us do is like the week before school we would have to wake up at the time that we were expecting to wake up for school that that, that way we could prepare for it i'm trying to wake up at 7 a.m on weekdays but since today is martin luther king jr day and all my siblings and my dad has off um i thought i could sleep in an extra hour but tomorrow i'll probably I last week I did 7 a.m. so I think this week I'm gonna do 6 30 a.m. because when the school semester starts I want to start waking up at 5 30 a.m. because I want to do the 12 3 30 workout every morning along with Claudia Saluski she has two workouts and I've just been alternating for the past two weeks I'm actually on the start of the third week of alternating but I think that'd be really good for me to do just like I feel more productive when I'm waking up like honestly my productivity starts veering off around 2 p.m. So like when it's 11.30 already, I just, my day feels completely wasted. And so that's definitely something I'm gonna have to start doing. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. Well, I guess that kind of ties in, but um, yeah, you guys are going to be helping me or watching me get ready for these, these this next school semester. First thing I'm going to do is actually pull up my um classes for the next semester because honestly i think i registered for classes in october and honestly i don't i don't remember all the classes i'm taking or what times they are i actually forgot i have to take a covid test before i go back um just found this in my drawer when do i have to take this beginning january 15th i need to take this okay glad i'm filming this video because I gotta take this. Usually I am a paper planner person. I haven't really gone into digital planning and I don't think I will this semester just because I have loved these two little planners. Usually I use the blue sky planners from Target, but this first semester I really liked having these out on my desk and seeing them every single day. And the reason I have two is I ordered this off of Amazon and it actually like said that the package was lost so i refunded it but it still showed up so i guess i like got a free one but um because this one was lost i bought this one from target and it's a little different i really enjoyed this one for writing all of my assignments down so this will have um like i said assignments 
test, all that stuff on here. And then here is where I put my class schedule or if I have any appointments or stuff like that. This is more of like my weekly schedule where this is a little bit more detailed. Probably only be focusing on this one. Yeah, it is blank. It is clean. It looks very, very pretty. And we're gonna get started. My desk is already a mess from doing this. So we're gonna try to show you guys my setup, I guess. Up here, it says week of. Um, I know you guys can't see it that well. Zero two, zero one through the seventh. So we got that on there. Sorry, you guys can't see it the best. But now I'm just going to look at my classes and try to figure out when I have them. All right, so that was pretty simple. Honestly, this is basically my exact same schedule that I had last semester. The only thing that is different is instead of Kim from 10 to 10.45, I had Kim 9 to 9.45. And then um, instead of Calc, I had English from 10 to 10.45. Bio's the same, my Kim lab's the same. And then um, I think that's like the only thing. Like I said, my like work ethic is I need to do stuff in the morning. The only thing that is fine in the afternoon is my chem lab, um, but yeah, I really, really like doing it this way, and of course, when I have like my assignments and everything, I will go more in depth into that. I might actually check Blackboard and see if anything's posted like the syllabuses, so I could write down the test or random stuff like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create folders for each of the classes. Um, I need to remember to count my anthropology class because I'm going to forget about that one just because we don't have like any dates or times for that. So I think you guys can see my screen pretty good. So this is my new background as you can see. Um, actually I might want to change this. I don't know if I like this. So basically what I do, I have made some of my own but I just don't want to do that right now. So. Now, I'm going to see, I might have saved one. To my folders, so I might want them either over here on this side or right here. I bet I'm probably going to like them over here. I can barely see this folder over on the right side of the screen, but it says first year of college. Basically, this is just going to be... Um, videos of I'm gonna do an end of the year like recap basically but I have a little butterfly icon I get that I got this from Julia Christ her website but anyways I've already deleted all of my last semester classes so before I add that butterfly to all of these I'm going to rename this they're all named I'm just going to go ahead and get this butterfly icon. So I don't like going to her website every single time. So basically what I do is I get info and this little screen pops up. Hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys can. And then I select it up here in this corner. I click command copy. I'm just gonna put that down. And then I open up this, get info, click up in that corner, paste, and it changes. It's really simple to me this way. I don't want to you don't have to save the icon to use it really fast i'm going to go onto blackboard and see if anything is available right now but until then i'm going to i'm going to do that off camera so i'll check with you guys after i'm done doing that all right guys so it's honestly probably like anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes later but basically what i did is i went to blackboard to see if any of my classes had opened up and only one did and so basically uh, my professor he sent out like an announcement that said what to do and that was like signing up for the online textbook and like other things I don't know it took me a while and then I also had to read through the syllabus so I did that my first exam is February 25th yeah 
February 25th and it's 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And if you guys know me, my bedtime is like 9.30. And so that is like my brain stops working, like I said, around like 2 p.m. So that's not good. Honestly, there really isn't anything else I can do. I mean, I don't need to buy anything right now. I found some of the textbooks that I need. Like on Amazon, I found my anthropology textbook and I'm just gonna rent it because it's only $14. I feel like I should probably do that sooner than later. A little bit more prepared. Of course, there's still stuff that I need to do, but um, this semester is definitely going to be a lot harder than last semester just because, like I said, I'm taking math and it's calc and I'm freaking out. I haven't taken, I took a semester off of math. I wish I hadn't done that. I didn't want to do that. Just my course load last semester was not compatible with a math class. And of course, I'm also nervous for just like chem and bio. I'm really excited about my anthropology class though. So if you guys didn't know, last semester I changed my concentration to anthropology instead of just biology. So now I'm majoring in human biology with a concentration in anthropology. And also I think I'm gonna talk to my advisor when I get back. And I want to minor in gender studies or Something like that. I really enjoyed my sex and power class from last semester and that kind of was under anthropology which is why I changed my concentration and I think just minoring in gender studies or something like that would be really fun and um, it's something that I love learning about so I'll keep you guys updated on that if you guys want to hear more. But yeah this is going to be the end of this video. Sorry it was kind of like short. I, I I'm sure it's gonna be extremely short, but um, this is all I could do right now to prepare for classes. Some tips are to always read through your syllabus. I find value in it. I This semester, I really want to start going to office hours. I think I went to like two office hours last semester. And actually in my chem class, I read in the syllabus that if you go to office hours, he gives you a point of extra credit each time. And so like, why not? It'll be helping me. So look for your books early, like as early as you can. Like don't do what I did and start a free trial before classes even start because that is stupid. I don't know why that happened, but anyways, yeah. Honestly, go on Amazon and rent your books rather than, you know, buying them. It's cheaper, like I said, this is $14 to rent my anthropology book. And if I were buying it new, it's like $126. And if I was buying it used, it'd be $50. Tip is to, I don't know, do what I'm doing and kind of just sit down and prepare for your classes. Try to get into a mindset, maybe change your background like I did, put some cute icons on. That way you're feeling a little vamped up for the school year or the next semester. But yeah, I genuinely have nothing else to add to this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm so excited to be back at the University of Kansas. Rock chalk. That's all I gotta say. If you guys like college vlogs or college-based videos, of course, you know, you can check out my you can check out my channel. I have a few of those. Hopefully I Hopefully this semester will be okay um, with COVID and everything. As we know, in the holidays, the cases went up. So hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love. Bye, guys. Feeling good. Hey, feeling good. Like I should.